Hi, good afternoon. This is Friday and I'm just getting the chance to upload this video. But just to let you know that um, I'm going to be doing a sip later on today and I hope to upload that tonight or tomorrow. So, I also wanted to say, uh, I do a little bit of talking in this video about a reset. Now, I am not talking about this New World Order uh, reset thing that Klaus Schwab keeps on about, you know, the Great Reset. I'm talking about it on a much more personal level, our own reset and how we begin to live within this quite crazy at times, really <laughs> it's quite crazy world. The other thing I wanted to say um, before I upload this video is that um, I did give a comment, uh, and it was quite a personal comment by email sent to me, that um, everything's too perfect here and why is it so perfect and I must be quite wealthy and I'm telling lies about my upcycled clothes and my second hand yeah fiver in the hospital shop and boil um, uh, way of dressing etc and look at those of you who know me who've been on this journey with me over the past 10, 11 years, something like that, know who I am, what I am, what I represent, how I live. It's all out there. It's all out there. I'm not hiding behind anything. And if you think that my home is too perfect, well, naughty Colette, how dare you clean up in the morning? How dare you bother to dust and sweep and keep things nice? That's not a sign of wealth. That's a sign of getting up off my derriere on a daily basis and doing a little bit of housework and caretaking the land. Caretaking means taking care, taking care of. That's what I do. I'm not apologising for it. Enjoy the video. Well, a very good morning to you all. I got a letter this morning from America. And thank you, Barbara. Thank you so much. And um, it's a very interesting letter, very short, but very interesting. Because it's about what's happening in real time. Now, some of you may have come across on my website the uh, the End of Empire blogs that I've been doing. So, I promise you, Barbara, I will do an End of Empire blog on what you suggested. Because that's been on my mind anyway, and it's been very... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's been very interesting, should we say, looking at what has happened in the political world since this great recession, which I have to tell you is going to be a very, very deep recession and it's going to be something akin to a depression in that people will have to reset all their values. They have to be reset. Now, I speak with a lot of knowledge on this because 18 years ago, when I started the Bialtina project on um, such a small fraction of money, that it seemed almost impossible. I had to reset all my values. I mean, the practical ones, for example, 
I had to give up smoking because I couldn't afford to smoke. I had to give up drinking because I couldn't afford to drink. I had to give up coffee because I aligned coffee with smoking and I just had to give up smoking. Um, I gave up going out. I mean, even now, 18 years down the line, for me to go to the hairdressers and get my hair washed and blow dried is an absolute treat that for many women in today's society is the norm. You know, you just, you go to the hairdressers once a week. So that's what I'm talking about, resetting values. I reset my values 18 years ago. And I can tell you, it was probably the best thing I ever did because I got to appreciate more and more and more the beauty and the abundance and the love of the natural world. And you don't have to live in the country to experience this. So, yes, Barbara, I will do um, a podcast linked into a blog and I will talk a little bit about that also in a YouTube video. But later on today, I'm going to be making the soup and I'm going to do the video on that and post it up for you. Oh, and by the way, I'm sat in my bedroom on this beautiful, old, very ancient chest. There we go. That's that beautiful chest, which I've done um, a video on, a YouTube video on. It is just beautiful. But please take note as well of my cost very little using all kinds of uh, old wood and pallet wood and God knows what wood um, wardrobe. Oh, and I've also got to say, because I don't remember if I mentioned it or not in yesterday's video, that beautiful coat, I bought that at a boot fair which is akin to a second-hand market, for 10 euro. 10 euro. And at the same time, I bought another coat for 10 euro from the same stall holder. They were both um, in the size that I felt would fit me. Now, here we go. This is it. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Hmm? 10 euro so isn't it time we all got back to basics yeah well my little bit of foraging. Well, it's kind of foraging in a way. I've been down to the spring well. That's the public spring well, which is down in Kiju. And I filled up two big five litre bottles of water. And um, look how, um, uh, what's the word? There's condensation on the outside of the bottle because the water is so cold. It's beautiful water as well. And it's free. I'm going to have a nice big drink of water now. So this was built in a cottage at the very beginning in 2004. This was the lane leading up to the cottage, as you can see. And this was the view from the front door. Well, it's a different view now. 